So, um, today's topic is for those of you who are beginning actors and maybe even for those of you who have started and your parents are against you being an actor or an actress. They're against you being involved with acting. And so therefore, when you act, you may feel like there's something wrong. You may have feelings of being guilty. It's, it's, it can get messy. So that's the topic for today. Um, so usually what happens when I hear young actors in our community, um, they come in and it's like you're still in a stage where you're kind of asking your parents for permission on your life choices. And if your parents disagree with you being involved with acting, um, there's different things that can happen. I see some of you are deciding to do it anyway but then your parents are still telling you not to do it so they might remove the support um, they might uh, re remove part of the connection with you um, so what what happens is that when you're showing up as an actor when you're doing a tape when you're going to an audition when you're training part of you is feeling that there's something wrong about you moving forward your parents have cared for you your parents um, you know, took care of all of your needs in childhood and there's some guilt that can be going on in you actually um, not complying to what they think would be right for you. So you may feel wrong, you may feel guilty, you may feel responsible for their disappointments. I hear that some parents can get pretty, you know, sad or dramatic about you being an actor. And so you end up kind of having maybe to hide your activity as an actor or your attempts as an actor or actress. You may feel like you really can't share the joys of it. And so all of those things, whether it is feeling that there's something wrong about you for you know, not honoring what your parents want of you for the guilt, for the feeling responsible for crushing their heart about you being an actor, for the really like feeling like you're leaving, abandoning your family's needs is really what it's creating is a constriction inside of you. It's creating a constriction of who you are. And so therefore, your level of fulfillment as an actor, if all of that is going on inside of you, is constricted. That means when you're playing, part of you is not available. Not all of you can enjoy it because part of you is busy trying to still somehow honor your parents, uh, feeling guilty about it, feeling responsible ab about it. So you're not able to show up fully present. And um, it's also problematic because part of that energy that is feeling wrong and guilty is probably leaking into your auditions or part of that energy is not available to show up in your auditions. Part of that energy is leaking into your character, into the story, into how you can impact an audience. So obviously, I get that it's really hard to be very passionate about acting and to have, you know, a great or a not so great relationship with your parents, but have them not validate your need as an artist and not support you, not understand you, not really comfort you in that choice. Um, I get that that's really hard. And so you've probably tried to talk to them. You've probably tried to hide it from them. You've probably tried to rebel. Some of you have maybe tried to like avoid the whole thing altogether, the whole discussion, avoid them, rebel, walk away, run for the hills. And uh, some of you have probably tried to not think about it at all. Some of you have tried to work super hard, like put all your efforts in acting and prove them wrong, prove them that you were right and you can be successful and you can make a living out of acting. So you've probably tried a lot of things and it hasn't worked because that energy is still there. So what we're going to go over today is really what is the root of what is happening rather than um, going straight to here's what you do, it's going to take a little bit of understanding of what's actually going on so that you can show up for it fully. So what's actually going on, and mostly it's you know usually the case, is that um, the root of why your parents are trying to somehow tell you what to do about your career or telling you not to have an acting career is really just because they want to protect you. So the root is fear. They are afraid that acting 
is not a, sa- a solid path. It's not a safe profession. It's not reliable financially. They are afraid for you. And they want to protect you from a career that could be scary, could be damaging, could be unsafe, could be financially unstable. And so they are coming from a place of fear. And then when you're showing up denying, rebelling, avoiding, trying not to talk about it, trying to deal with it anyway, you're in a way also coming from a place of fear. So we're dealing with generational, we're passing down the baton of fear. I'm afraid for you, my child, because I want to make sure that you're always going to be safe and that you can have control over your financial stability. I'm so afraid that I'm going to restrict your freedom and tell you what to do. And then you're receiving that from a place of fear too. And you're saying, well, you know, like I I can't, I can't undo this. I'm a victim of what they are thinking. So I need to either pretend I didn't hear it, rebel. I need to hide. I can't share my truth. I can't share my passion. And so you keep fear inside and you perpetrate the fear moving down the generation. So what I'm going to suggest that um, you do instead of conforming to what they want or avoiding and rebelling what they want uh, for you is to actually move into free and truthful connection. So all the work that we do is about moving from resistance to freedom. And what does freedom mean? It means that you are able to freely feel what you're actually feeling, any feeling anger, sadness, jealousy, play, joy, arousal, whatever it is, so that you can feel what you feel and that you're not hijacked by the culture that is telling you what's good to feel, what's right to feel, what do you need to feel in order to be liked. So that's freedom, that you're able to actually have something move through your body and you completely own it, fully express it, and let yourself have that experience of yourself in that moment. So in this case, you have a passion, it's acting. Maybe you haven't started because you're hesitating because they don't want you to. Maybe you have started or maybe you're well along the way, but your parents are still not happy about it. So there's still some toxic energy going on there. So the way to move through this is actually through connecting truthfully and freely and really sharing and being responsible for your passion as an artist, as an actor, really owning the path that you're taking, the risk that you're taking, the heart that you're putting in, the work that you're putting in, the investment, the time, all of that, really being responsible, fully owning your passion so that they can see you as a responsible person slash as an adult, really being aware of the choice that you're making, being clear about the choice that you're making, not being delusionally dreaming about it, but really being aware and being able to share that from a place of authenticity, of truth, of being open-hearted. And then also to be able to connect with them and hear what their feelings are about it. Because being free also means you're able to let others be free, to hear other people's concern, to hear other people's emotions, and to validate theirs. When they see you really able to listen and hear so that they can freely have their experience as a parent, to feel fear for you, to want to protect you, to want to control your life, it's human. When you let them have that experience, when you listen to them, and then you're both able to be responsible, you for your passion, them for their feelings, and you're still able to connect from a place of truth, not from a place of avoidance, of wanting to be right, of wanting to run away, to deny, to rebel, to hide. None of those things are true. They're just coping mechanisms to really be able to you open your heart and share your passion let them open their heart and share their concern you're able to actually interrupt the generational passing on a fear that is going to be perpetrated if you don't actually stop it in its tracks and face to face each other connect from a place of love and 
heal that relationship and let your parents really see you in your whole grown ass self responsible for your passion responsible for the dangers from now on because you're no longer a child and that they don't have to be responsible for it and yet you're capable to hear their concerns their human feelings you can freely listen to them too so when that happens then something really changes in the dynamic and um, you're able to have repeated conversations repeated connections and your conversations can grow can evolve can expand and so can your relationship